today. Today I'm speaking to Prof. Mareike Labaskagni from Plant Sciences. Prof. Mareike is also a Saatchi Chair in which field? Uh, disease resistance and quality of field crops. Oh, lovely. Welcome Prof. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Prof, tell us all, how did you become a researcher? I've always been fascinated by genetics and um, and then I, I started specializing in plant genetics and then I became involved with nutritional value and genetics of nutritional value of crops and that's how I ended up where I am today. I love it. Prof, what are you working on currently? You've just come back from Belgium, you said. You'd gone there for a conference and, and for research. For research. Yes. So, so um, I'm currently working with my students in two fields. The one is baking quality of wheat. Uh, we are looking at the genetics of baking quality, especially under abiotic stress conditions. That means like heat and drought stress, which we are uh, currently experience, uh, experiencing to a large extent. And then the other big project that I'm working on is biofortification of crops. That means we are building, genetically, we are building the minerals and the vitamins into the crop so that people can get their vitamins and minerals from their food directly without having to have any supplementation, especially for the poor, poor communities. Yeah, very important food sustainability. Prof, tell me, um, what research gaps have you identified in your field? Well, in Africa, there are huge uh, deficiencies of things like vitamin A, which, and if you have a deficiency of that, you can turn blind, especially children are, are largely affected by this and pregnant women. And then there's a lot of sh uh, deficiency of iron and zinc, which has huge uh, medical implications, especially on children. So uh, we are working with international partners to, to see if we can build especially iron, zinc and vitamin A into oh, crops and, and that is the, the, the sort of the gap that we are trying to fill now. And later on we hope to also extend it to other minerals and vitamins. Okay, wonderful. Prof, what would you like to tell other aspiring researchers? How would you like to encourage them? I think first look at what is what is important to you, what, what really uh, tickles your fancy. I mean, that you, something that you're really interested in, and and then go for it. I mean, um, try to specialize, do well, work hard. I mean, I think that's very important. And then uh, you you have to make the contacts. You have to network so that you can get funding, and then so that you can can do the research. Yes, Prof. Tell me, you seem to be very busy. What do you do for? Hobby, rest and relaxation. What do you do? Yes, I play the saxophone. That's oh, my wow. big love. I yeah. So I'm I'm I love music. I do uh, and I sing in a group also. And uh, and then I love reading and I love spending f just time with my family. So yes, so that is basically what I do if I'm not working. That's wonderful, Prof. Prof, thank you so much for coming to speak to us today, and we wish you well going forward. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.